Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead code problem number 117. Given a binary tree with uh, this structure, so just a normal tree node, but uh, with uh, also a next pointer, populate each next pointer to point to its next right node. And if there is no such node, the next pointer should be set to null. And initially all of the next pointers are set to null. Now here's an example. Here's the input, a normal binary tree. And here is the output, the same tree, but with the pointers, next pointers populated. So there's also a follow-up that we are going to solve that uh, states that we may only use constant extra space. Now you might be wondering, how would I traverse a tree with only constant extra space? Well, down here it tells us that the recursive approach is fine because we may assume that implicit stack space does not count as extra space for this problem. So we could use a depth first search. However, I don't really like that style. It feels like a dirty trick. So instead we're going to use a breadth first search. And you might ask yourself, how would I ever do a breadth first search if I don't have extra space to store a queue with the next nodes that I need to visit? Well, we do not have a queue, but we can exploit these pointers to essentially use them as if they were our queue. So the concept is going to be, first of all, traverse all of the levels of the tree. So we're going to have one loop, one outer loop, that goes from the root level to the first level to the second level. And then we are going to use an inner loop, a nested loop, that traverses every node of the single level horizontally, just like a linked list. And uh, for every node in the current level, we are going to set the next pointers of its children. That's the key to solve this problem. Here's how we are going to do that. So, first of all, because the output is the same tree as the input, we need to return the root node of the input tree. Then we need three variables to do the traversal as I've described you before. The first variable that we need is the start of the next level so that we can traverse vertically the tree. Then we need one variable to traverse the tree horizontally, to traverse the current level. And remember, to traverse a linked list, so the level will be traversed just like a linked list, so we need a cursor, a current node, to do so. Then we also need another variable which keeps track of the last visited node so that we can set its next node to the current node. So the outer loop is going to be like this. While we still have a start of the next level, we move to the next level doing uh, this. So the current node is going to be the start of the next level. And then we also need to reset these two variables because they their value is going to be used as a signal to decide what to do later on. So we reset them to null. Now we need to traverse this current level that we are on, just like a linked list. How do you traverse linked list? With a while loop and uh, at the end of every iteration, you set the current node to the next of the current node. So what do we do in every tree node of the current level. As I was telling you before, we set the previous, the next pointers of its children. So we loop through its uh, children. And uh, if there is actually a child, because remember that uh, this is not a perfect tree, it's not a complete tree. So one child could be missing. For every child that is actually there, so we use a conditional to check if the child is actually not null. So if the child is actually there, what we do is, well, first of all, we, this is the, suddenly this has become the new last visited child because we literally just visited it. But before doing that, we need to say, okay, if we already have a last visited child, set its next pointer to the current child. So for example, if the last visited node was four, we would have to set its next value to the tree node with value 5. Okay, so then what we need to do is if there was no last visited node stored in this variable, then we need to say 
that the start of the next level is the current child. Because remember that at every iteration, the last visited variable gets set back to null. So at the start of uh, this iteration, the first level, the level with uh, depth uh, one, you would have an empty last visited variable. And so when we find the first child, this would be the head, the start of the next level. So that's how this algorithm works. And it's an iterative solution with uh, O of n time complexity and uh, O of one space complexity. So that's it and uh, bye.